Hi guys, I'm very excited to show Samuel's baby room. Ooh, let's see what is in the baby room. Some of you already seen in my Facebook, but thank you to my uncle. I received as a gift most of the, of the items in the nursery room. In the description down below, I'm gonna leave all the links to every item that uh, was purchased from a store that you can you probably can still uh, buy them it's still available um, first over here we got this dresser uh, actually the dressers and the crib we bought from a um, famous uh, football player he had four kids and he was no longer gonna use his um, uh, furniture and we ended up buying from him and it was really huge help for us and I really thank him for that and over here in this dresser uh, we have I have several books that even before I was pregnant I was already having baby fever and I started buying some books for baby uh, way before I got pregnant even like a year before I got pregnant and uh, I got several books that I thought it would be very nice for him in the future so there are books for uh, for later on in his life not necessarily for a baby for baby but I have several Bibles um, since I, I go to church every week and I thought it would be nice for him to have several Bibles uh, for age appropriate and right now he has little Bibles that uh, it's for now for his age that he can um, he can turn the pages and he can see it, uh, the pictures and I have like a, a, a Bible that is made of felt that I really like it when we are in church and he can uh, he can manage the pictures and he can touch and he can uh, fill up with, uh, the stories with the with the pictures that is in the uh, in the felt and there's like the main stories of Noah and Adam and Eve and so I really like the options that we have right here of Bibles. Uh, I plan to use every Bible in a different moment of his life, but for now he's still little, so I I use the most the easiest Bibles. And over here I have uh, more books and more books. I don't think I need to go into details about the books. But um, well, let's go here. Uh, I got this as a gift and uh, I love it. Yeah. I need to turn it on and, and it will uh, be like with lights inside. And it looks very pretty. And over here I have uh, uh, Samuel's first footprint in the hospital. And this was his little receiving blanket and they put his free, uh, footprint over here and for me it's just like I like to put over here I think it's, for me it's just very cute to be able to look at that and let's see if Sammy wants to walk I have these frames that I also got uh, from somebody that was selling them uh, I was looking for a lamb um, theme and it's uh, very hard to find specific frames of lamb uh, and I wanted the specific color that would match the furniture and I found those and I really like it and I put on the wall over here I have the curtains um, actually I'm using two curtains over here so you, you don't see there's two there are two curtains here and if you go look at the website they're actually two, supposed to be shower curtains they are made of fabric and there's no plastic in it, it's all made of fabric and I just, I saw in the picture of the website that they were using the shower curtains in the, in the nursery room so I decided to buy, so I bought two curtains for each window and this uh, to cover in the top, so I really like that and over here there is a uh, diaper um, holder so this is where I can put several diapers and here is the changing station where I can change baby um, more frames over here, this is his dresser over here uh, as part of the, the crib, uh, the nursery uh, items I have these frames that are made of fabric as well on the wall and you can see all the items, this skirt is kind of uh, dragging on the floor over here because my crib I think it's different than the other crib that will look nicer, but mine was kind of uh, dragging over here. So I guess it will depend on what type of crib you have. 
Uh, I really like the mobile. They play a little song. And... So, this is the mobile of uh, Baby Samuel. He, he liked that, but I didn't use as a habit for him to every time he would sleep. More doing... Uh, I honestly didn't use it very much. I think it's very cute, but he didn't use it as a habit before sleeping. If that makes sense, that was not part of the routine for him to fall asleep. And over here inside the crib, you're gonna see a little pillow then uh, to match the decoration. This is uh, uh, Gilbert, and this is the little friend that we gave Samuel, actually before Samuel was born, Daniel was in the hospital working and he thought, oh, he saw this in the gift shop and he was like, hi, I wanna, I wanna buy something for, for our baby. And this, this was actually his first gift before baby Samuel was born, as far as like toys. And he, this is became his companion every night before he goes to nap, so before he goes to, to a bed for sleeping. This is the, the, the friend that he sleeps with and uh, he, he loves him. The last, over here, this is like a toy. This is the toy holder. Yeah. Um, I love plush animals. I always loved them. My parents uh, gave us several animal plush, several animal uh, stuffed animals for Christmas gifts. And so I, I, I was raised loving stuffed animals through my entire Aye. life and up to today I love stuffed animals Aye. and this is what I I thought it was so cute to put stuffed animals here and we try to put a, a diversity of different animals here this is a rocking chair I uh, also got this rocking chair um, for it was in a, an item like somebody sold to us it's a used item and I just thought because of the color and the style it would match the baby room. Uh, to be very honest, I always wanted to feed my baby on my bed. I just thought it was just super, super comfortable to be on my bed when, when I had a uh, baby Samuel. And so I didn't get to use this very often, but I used some and it's very pretty item in the baby room, but to be very honest, I didn't really use very much. Last but not least, I want to thank my dear husband to really do a great and excellent job painting this room. Uh, this room was completely different before this nursery room was set up. He did the whole job. He uh, sanded the walls. It was a lot of work. And he painted. He, we, we chose the colors. We, we chose the design that would be in the wall. And all this job... I thank my husband for it and you can see the walls it's like excellent job I love it I love it love 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 thank you so much I love you so I don't know the name of this there's this thing on inside the, the blank the inside the crib that is supposed to cushion a little bit and it's more decorative than anything and we're ready to remove that because right now uh, Samuel came he can pretty much get uh, behind these things and maybe can be trapped and can be a little bit dangerous for him. And over here, this he can pull and he can take it off. So we're ready to remove the mobile. We, we, we're ready to remove those. And this is a wrap that we put over here because he started biting the crib. And I learned too late that only after he was biting a lot of the crib that we bought this. I wish I could have bought this before. He had the, the first tooth. Uh, this is a very good item for me. I really like it. That is a neutral color. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you wanted to receive notifications about my next videos, please hit the, the bell uh, and click on the bell and you're going to receive notifications for every single video I post. And I think the next video is going to see is going to be about my immigration status and my immigration process, and a little bit of my story about the immigration. And I hope you guys enjoy. And thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao.